We are here with Matt Lozon, who founded Gemvara. It's an online jewelry retailer, custom design jewelry there. And he has some big news to announce today that he has raised $15 million. What do you plan on doing with that? But first, of course, congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, the plan is to continue uh, enhancing the site's functionality and give a better, better experience for consumers so they can, you know, get the metal and the gemstones of their choice and ultimately get the perfect piece of jewelry that you know, likely tells some story about their life. Um, and behind the scenes, we're going to be doing a ton of hiring. So you know, I think we're about to open up uh, almost 30 recs all in if you include uh, the intern hire. So, you know, a ton of uh, jobs here in Massachusetts. Yeah, it's great news, of course. Um, how much do you think Jimbara is valued at this point? It's an interesting question. I think by our customers, huge. I mean, if you look at the way they react uh, to the piece of jewelry that they get from us, um, every single one of them you know, has some special meaning, and most of them have a really big story about some part of their life, about a loved one, about a situation, uh, and I think that's what's so special and why it's so valuable. So, of course, on the customer end of things, it's priceless, but what about in terms of the investor side of things? Well, I think, you know, investors make a big investment, um, you know, because they believe at the end of the day there's a company that's going to be worth a ton. Um, you know, I think as I look out into the future, um, you know, I think we can build a really big business here, and I think our investors agree. And speaking of building a big business, Baldur's and Capital is the company that you got the money from, which is um, an overseas company. So is your goal to expand internationally at this point? So we currently you know, primarily serve uh, the U.S. Um, we also do a significant amount of business in Canada. Um, over time, I imagine we'll move into other markets. Um, the reason why I went to, with Balderton is Mark Evans, the partner there who will be joining our board, uh, is a really thoughtful guy, understands e-commerce, and I think shares our vision for uh, commerce absolutely redefined. Um, Highland Capital Partners, who has also invested in your company, um, as well as put some money into Scavenger. Now, Balderton has put money into your company and Scavenger. Is there any sort of coincidence there? I think the only coincidence would be, you know, Balderton looks for companies that have a huge vision and, you know, hopefully a huge outcome. Um, and I think they like to see uh, early uh, traction and execution. And it seems that uh, that's something that Scavenger and Jimbara share. One other thing to share is that your founders are very young yourself, uh, 26 years old, right? Um, what does it feel like? You know, most people never raise $26 million, right? And to raise it at such a young age, uh, was this always your vision or do you sometimes pinch yourself? I mean, I definitely wake up uh, really excited every day to go to work. You know, the vision is to build a great company that redefines commerce and gives people the ability to get the perfect piece of jewelry. Um, but. I think today, you know, all I can think about is, you know, this quote from Dharmesh Shah, who was over at HubSpot, that said, you know, raising capital is not in itself creating value, it's the opportunity to create value. So I look forward to uh, what we can do in the coming years with this money. How did you decide to start this online jewelry retail company? So, you know, I am very, very passionate about, um, you know, the fact that I think that commerce uh, in retail is ready for big changes. And if you look at e-commerce in the last decade, you know, I think there hasn't been a tremendous amount of innovation. I think we're at the front of something that I would call me-commerce um, that absolutely redefines and you know, makes it about a great experience rather than you know, a better transaction. But where did the actual idea come from? Wasn't um, this having to do with like a family friend who had a business uh, in a jewelry business? Was that how it actually started? Or Right. So I got introduced um, to the jewelry business uh, via a student um, that ultimately actually uh, pushed the business into fruition at the very beginning with me. Um, and I looked at jewelry as something to say, you know, this is such an emotional, important purchase and a big purchase for people in their lives. You know, there's got to be a better way to get them the perfect piece. So your average price uh, per piece of jewelry is about $1,000. Um, are you hoping to provide maybe like to open the share so that way people that don't have as much money to buy jewelry, let's say $50, or is that never part of your business model? You will definitely see us um, expand uh, the breadth and depth of our merchandise in a lot of different ways. One of them is price point. You know, one of the things we're committed to is a very high level of quality. Um, so you won't see our quality go down to get there, but we'll try to offer much more that's suitable for different occasions. Where is this jewelry made? Uh, primarily made in New York. Um, and you know, every piece gets made to order. So you know, being able to have really high quality uh, production and manufacturing partners is extremely important. And how many customers do you currently have and what's your year-end goal? So you know, at this point, 
you know, we have millions of page views a month, uh, more and more and more customers every day. And if I were to think about a goal, the goal is to have more and more happy customers month after month, uh, which we've done since launching and you know, I expect we'll continue to do. Okay, last question. What do you want people's takeaway to be from this interview today? You know, I want people to realize that Gemvara um, is a rapidly growing company, you know, here in the Boston area that, you know, is more than, you know, just another online retailer. We've got unbelievably complex and exciting technology behind the scenes. Um, we're doing some extremely innovative things in the way we do our marketing. Um, and some of the initiatives rolling out uh, in the next few quarters will be pretty exciting. And we will be hiring a ton of people here in the Boston area, including interns. Okay, well, you've heard it here. Matt Lozon wants you to send your application to Jamvara. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you.